I'm going to tell you the story of star spirits and good wishes. Far, far away beyond the sky, way above the clouds. It's been said that there's a heaven where the stars live, a haven. <laughs> In the sanctuary of Star Haven, there rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Using this wondrous star rod, the seven I watched over our peaceful world. <laughs> carefully, very carefully. And then, uh oh. Oh dear, what the? Who stuck that weird thing into this story? Oh no! Ha ha ha, yeah, I did. Wah ha 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 ha. So I can, at long last, beat my arch enemy, Mario. I'll take this star rod. Oh no! Do it, Kami Koopa. Oh no! Rawr. No, you mustn't- No, you mustn't do that. Yeah, now let's try use- Now let's try using it. Stop it, cut it out, Bowser. Oh no! You're changing the story! Oh no! Guahaha, we did it! Or, wahaha, we did it! That was a piece of cake, guahaha! Oh no! Spaghettios! Uh oh! Now star kids may rise to the haven to deliver people's wishes, but those wishes will not come true! Whatever can they do? Wow, Paper Mario. 2001. I would have been... Depending, I'm guessing this was earlier in the year, or like, you know, not like the winter of 2001, so I'm guessing... So I would have been two years old when this game came out. Um... Um... So this was originally going to be a sequel to Super Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo. Right? And then they decided to go with like a paper aesthetic. Um, um, what else can I say about it? I don't know. I played it a little bit. Like I, I mainly watched my brother, my oldest brother play it, but like I tried to play through this game once. Got, I'd say I got like halfway through the game maybe. And then I, I ended up not finishing it. So this will technically be my first time ever finishing this game. Um, and yeah, there's our history lesson. What, what's everyone's history with this game? Okay, um, so we can do stereo, mono. Okay. Uh, new file name, chase. Although it says and it says file name, not like, not the name of the character. I don't know why. I don't know. I guess I'll just put Chase. Uh, end. Yep. Here we go. First play. Here we go. Let's go. Wow. Mail call. So it's it's pretty weird that we are we've we're playing this out of order. Hey Mario. Hey Mario, we got a letter from Princess Peach. Who's oh Charlie Day is gonna be Luigi. And then Chris Pratt is Mario. I'll read it to you, okay? Alright, let's see. Wow. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. Do you guys like peaches? As in the fruit. Here we go. Wow, Toad Town. 
So yeah, I imagine in 2001, this must have been like a trip to see this. Wow. What a magnificent castle. I never get used to this place. It looks like lots of guests are already here. Alright, so and yeah, it looks like they kind of like... They kind of replicated the Mario 64 layout of Peach's castle, which is fun. I don't know if we go in here if it's going to be like the levels. Can we even go in here? It doesn't seem to open. Alright, do we talk to everyone? I guess so. Hi. I think Princess Peach has been looking forward to seeing you since this morning, Mario. She's been restless. Hee hee hee. How cute. <laughs> Oh, welcome, Mario. The last party was lovely, wasn't it? Oh, by the way, Princess Peach has been waiting for you. Thanks. Wow, I've never seen so many guests from different parts of the world in one place. I'll bet you could hear some stories about places you've never been to, huh? Hi. Welcome to Peach's Castle. Hey, er, Mario, I hope you brought an appetite. There's so much good food here. Yes, let's go. I love good food. I already ate way too much. I'm taking a little breather. Well, that's enough of, of a rest. I'm hungry again. Let's eat. To the buffet table. Nice. Although buffets now... They, buffets have always scared me. I think now especially they scare me just because of the whole like germ situation. It's like, I, I don't know, I find buffets to be like weird. Ah, oh, salutations Mario. Do you know forest, frost, frost tea here? <laughs> He's come all the way from Shiver Region, which lies far to the north of here. Princess Peach is such a generous and wonderful lady, just as I was told. It was worth coming to visit. Mario, please come visit us in the Shiver Region someday. Oh, I bet I will. Alright, can we- Oh wow, we can go in the doors. Oh, it's the kitchen. What a nice kitchen. Hi. I've been practicing cooking. I hope that someday I get good enough to cook food at, as delicious as taste teas. <laughs> Do you know how to cook, Mario? You really ought to learn. Personally, I think cooking is exceptionally fun. Do you guys like cooking? Oh, hello there, Mario. I'm Taste Tea. I really love to cook. You may not know this, but I cooked all the food for this big party. I made all of my most delicious dishes. But oh dear, I got so into my cooking that I used up all my ingredients. Now I have to go shopping. Shopping. Can we read the books? No. Well, this is nice. This is lovely. What a lovely party. <laughs> Can we go in this door? This was the water level that I hate. Okay, it doesn't seem to open. Alright. Shall we go, Luigi? Mario, you're looking well. Please enjoy the party, okay? Say, Mario, why don't you go see Princess Peach? I'll go later. I'm thinking I'll mingle for now. <laughs> if you press A in front of the door up there, you can open it. Alright. I think I know how video games work, Luigi. Wow, this castle is ab absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? I wish I could stay here at Princess Peach's castle forever. Alright. Here we go. Wow. Hi. Greetings, Mario. I am the Minister of Princess Peach's Castle. It's good to see you here. When you're around, I feel like our kingdom is secure. Yep, our future looks bright. Wow, who are you? I come from a desert town called Dry Dry Outpost. This castle is really lovely, isn't it? Isn't it? Truly gorgeous, so cool and comfortable. I even got a chance to talk to the beautiful Princess Peach. What an honor. When I return to Dry Dry Outpost, I'm going to tell everyone about it. Nice. No. Wow, look at the cake. So, is Peach's favorite cake peach cake? Or I feel like it's always like strawberry. Whenever you see a peach like cake, it's usually like strawberry. It's like a pink strawberry looking thing. Have a seat on the couch, okay. Hello. Princess Peach went into her private chambers just now. 
in we go, just invading people's private, uh, privacy. <laughs> Hello. Wow. Oh, Mario, you came to the party to see me. You're so sweet. Thank you, heart. Aw, cute. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? Ooh, scandalous. It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? Oh. Uh-oh. And then, everything bad happened. Oh, gosh. Not- How many times does the freaking castle just lift out of the ground? <laughs> I feel like that's like every other Mario game is the castle lifts out of the ground. Like, come up- come up with something different, Bowser. <laughs> like, do something actually- do something different next time. <laughs> oh boy. We are freaking out. Oh, are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? Well, if you look out the window, it's completely dark now. <laughs> oh my, look, Mario. It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see the stars outside. Peach, you're silly. <laughs> oh, didn't you notice, like, the elevation? Oh, okay. Guahaha. Long time no see, Princess Peach. Bowser, but this can't be. It was you who made the crown shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? Quahaha. Yeah, that was me. I've lifted your castle up into the sky. It's sitting on my castle now. Weren't, weren't expecting that, huh? Ha, uh, this castle is under my control now, my dear. Under con my control now, my dear. Now you will obey me. Oh no, you don't. Huh? What? It's Mario. What a shock. Ha, <laughs> huh, not really. I expected you to turn up, turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson that by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true, I have had my problems in the past, but this time is different. This time, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Okay, tough guy, let's go. Yeah, how are they not sucked out by the vacuum of space? Exactly. Mario, you can do it. Oh yeah, I can. So, oh wow, here we go. Um, items, strategies. So we have 10 HP, you guys can see it, right? Yeah, 10 HP, 5 FP. Zero coin, zero star things. Alright, there we go. Ah. Ow. Am I supposed to not know how to block yet? Ow. Take this. Heh <laughs> Good old Mario, always fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Ruh row. Take a look at this. Look what I stole from Starhaven. It's the Star Rod. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. So it is canon that Bowser is only does one damage. And I guess so does Mario. Guahaha, how do you like that, Mario? Uh-oh. Ow, now he does three damage. Guahaha, is that all you've got? How sad. You'd best take some vitamins, because that didn't hurt at all. Man. We're getting wrecked out here. Yep, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. <laughs> new me, who dis? Uh, it's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. Uh-oh. Ow! Ten damage. Oh no! Rip. Game over. The end. <laughs> oh no, Mario, get up. Yes, oh yeah, I did it. I finally did it. I beat my old rival Mario. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations on your victory, your vi viciousness. 
that's that's why you're the king. As long as I have this star rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. Just throw him out the window. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Dude, Mario's dead. Oh no, Mario. Dude, he just like... murdered somebody. Down I go. Oh, but I guess paper floats. Is that what's gonna happen here? We. I mean, we are in fact paper, so that's fair. Paper Mario TM. Wow. GG's guys, good game. Prologue, a plea from the stars. Okie dokie. Oh, wait, do I have to press something? Okie dokie. <laughs> We're in the jungle. The mighty jungle. Whoa! So what? There's seven of them? What's up with Nintendo and s the number seven? <laughs> Don't they always do like seven- like in Zelda there were seven sages. Hi. I like the mustache one. Oh, thank heavens. He's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. But Bowser has the star rod. Now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless. All is lost. Everybody just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now. Our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. Gather round, everyone. Send Mario your power. Here we go. Wow. Phew, that's it. That's all we can do right now. Mario, please get up. Please. Wow. <gasps> it's a Goomba. It really sounded like something fell up somewhere around here. Oh, who could that be? This red shirt, this hat, and your and this mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. It couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? Hey, wake up, come on. Up and at him. <laughs> Oh no, he won't wake up. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Oh, what am I gonna do? Dad, Goompa, Goombario. <laughs> Dude, Mario's dead? Mario, can you hear me, Mario? I'm eldest a star spirit. I'm Eldstar, a star spirit. I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need you. I need to have you come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario. We star spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. Wow. Oh. Yay! Oh, Mario! I'm so happy to see you awake. You haven't opened your eyes for days and days. Everyone's been worried sick. Wow, we're- Mario was in a coma. It must have been in the newspapers. This place? This is a- this is Goomba Village. It's a tiny village that's just west of Toad Town. The only residents are me and a single family of Goombas. The Goombas in the family are just the nicest folks you'll ever meet. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Sorry, I like dodged a yawn. <laughs> I was trying to dodge a yawn. Huh? A star with a mustache? You're saying a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit? No, I saw nothing like that. And I sure didn't see anyone come in or out of this house. I wonder, Mario. Maybe you just had a dream. What are we, Martin Luther King Jr.? Although maybe not. 
It could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. They live in Star Haven. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Star Haven, so that would make sense. Who knows? In any case, I'm glad to see you've recovered. I know the Goombas would be happy if you paid them a visit. Okie dokie. Well, out we go. Do boo boo Hi. Oh, land sakes, Mario, so nice to meet you. My. I'm so glad you woke up. I can't tell you how worried I was when you were just lying there asleep for so long. Thanks. Hi. Hey Mario, I'm Goombario. I'm your biggest fan. You don't know what this means for me to meet you, seriously. Aw, oh, thanks pal. Hit this block to save your pro game progress. When the game is over, your status will return to what it was the last time you saved, and you can continue to play. When you find this block along the way, remember to hit it to save. Okay. Thank you. So I wonder... I wonder if this game as well... Because yeah, we're in the interesting position where we've played Thousand Year Door before this. I wonder if this game, we can also kind of make it through by doing one chapter a night. Mario, you look, be you look better. I'm so glad. I was really worried about you because you were lying there in the forest and you didn't open your eyes at all the whole time. Oh my gosh, it's like an old man Goomba. Hi. Oh Mario, hello dearie. You- oh, well never mind, it's not a man, it's a- oh, sorry. <laughs> you may call me Goomba. I'm a Goomba grandmother, so that's where I got the name. Ho 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 ho. Have you already met my lovely grandchildren? Aren't they sweet? Especially little Goombario. Why, she looks just like I did when I was young. Ho 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 ho. What a nice little village. Hi. Oh, you startled me. Hmm, yes, Mario, isn't it? So you've awakened at last. Good. Knew you'd pull it through. <laughs> Call me Goompa. I am the Goompa grandfather, so I'm Goompa. <laughs> I'm sorry, but would you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy fixing the veran- ver- veran- veran- veranda. <laughs> what the heck is a vera- veranda? Ver- veranda. Alright. Mm, 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 mm. Hello, Mr. Mustache. Howdy, Mario. Feeling better? Feel free to rest in our house. It's not such a shabby place. It may look a little unkept. Uh, at the moment, but I'm fixing all the earthquake damage. In fact, I just spent ages fixing this gate. You what? <laughs> you have to leave right now? Oh, Shooting Star Summit. Something important, no doubt. Well, I believe the summit is near Toad Town. If you take this road straight ahead, you'll eventually reach Toad Town, the home of Princess Peach's castle. I believe that Shooting Star Summit is just beyond there. It's too bad you can't stay. I feel like I just met you, but duty calls, I know. Come back and visit if you can. Best of luck, Mario. He, ye he he. What? Oh no! It's this jerk face. <laughs> Bleh heh Ah, oh, my instincts were right. Mario, I can't believe you're on your feet after taking such a beating from King Bowser. You're a hardy one, alright. I was smart to come here to check on you. What, what? What's that, Daddy? What's that weird flying thing? <laughs> weird, you rude little. I'm a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name, Kami Koopa. Hmm, I wish I had time to teach you a lesson, brat, but no. Mario, hear this. It is useless for you to try to save Princess Peach. Ridiculous. Laughable. <laughs> That's the same thing they said about me in high school. As you have seen, King Bowser is more powerful than even you can deal with this time. Here's a gift from him. We get a gift? I loved gifts. Whoa. Yeah. Mario, you will kneel and weep when you see the wonderful changes King Bowser's made. Your world is ours now. Bleh he he yuck. Ha ha ha. Welp. Um, I just fixed that gate. 
Nobody say gate to me. Kami Koopa, that fiend. Did you hear what she said about the princess? It didn't sound good. I hope nothing's happened to her. Oh. What? Bowser went and kidnapped Princess Peach again? <laughs> well, unbelievable. Unbelievable. And now you have to go to Shooting Star Summit and help save her, right? Um, this could be a problem. Dad, we've just gotta do something, right? Mario's gotta save the princess. Nobody else can do it. Um... <laughs> oh, here's an idea. Maybe we can break this block with Goomba's big hammer. I think he's using it now to fix the veranda. Go ask him for it, will you? Alright. Will do. <gasps> oh. Wait, what? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> no! It's like the Bugs Bunny effect. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> We'd land nicely as paper. Rut row. What happened, friend? Oh, my back. Hmm, who's that? That you, Mario? I remember a great crashing noise, and then the veranda collapsed, and I fell. Did you fall, too? Just stepped out the door into thin air, did you? Well, we're both okay. Problem is, we can't get home because that block is in the way. This block. This block shouldn't be here. Well, this is a problem for us. Huh? A hammer? Oh, of course. Um, where did it go? I was using it to fix the veran veranda. Ver veranda. So it's likely around here somewhere. Hmm. Nowhere to be seen. I guess it must have fallen somewhere over there. Mario, we'd better look for it. And we can't just simply s jump over the gate or over the block. <laughs> it's okay, he's paper. That's true. Very true. Alright. Looking for something about a looking for something about a hammer. Where would a hammer have fallen? Man, don't you just love invisible walls that you can't jump over? <laughs> the hammer has got to be somewhere close by. It looks just like this. Look for bush bushes that might cover it up. If qu if exclamation mark appears over your head, you can press okay. I figured that part out at least. <laughs> All right, looking for a hammer. I imagine like speedrunners probably know. Well, I wonder if I wonder if this game was would be smart enough to like randomize where the hammer is, or if the hammer ends up in the same spot every time. How do we get these mushrooms? <laughs> oh, yay! You found the hammer. Mario can do the hammer attack now. You can smash a yellow block with this hammer. Oh, there we go. That's it. That's the hammer. I'll wager that if you use that hammer, you can break the block that's in our way. You can also use the hammer to hit trees and make them sway. Sometimes stuff will fall out. Uh, you can use it by pressing B. Okay. Thank you. Wow, look at us go. Dude, we're so cool now. What happens if we hit a mushroom? Nothing. <laughs> oh! We Yeah. Yeah. That's so satisfying. Hmm. Well, we found the hammer, so I guess we should head for home. Hey, what's up, brother CJ? How's it going? How's it going? Youch. Hope all is well. Oh no! Why would you beat up an old grandma, grandpa like that? No problem, no problem. Who are you guys? This is my playground, idiots. 
Nobody sets foot in here without my permission. Nobody. Ready to enjoy the Paper Mario? I'm glad. Glad to hear. Prepare to start crying at the feet of Master Junior Troopa. Heh. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, here we go. Mario, this is Junior Troopa. He's the boss of the neighborhood gang. Neighborhood gang. A bit of a bully, obviously. He's more bark than bite. You can beat him easily. Just boost yourself up and don't take any lip. I'll stay right here behind you and watch your progress. Alright, let's go in with a hammer. Oh, excellent. Good move. Go on. Aren't- does this- well, I'm sure we'll learn, but I wonder if this game has, like, the little buttons you can press. Yeah, I'm sure we'll learn it later on, but... Grr, I'm just getting warmed up. Cause I feel like I'm blocking on time. I don't know if it's blocking. Mario, you've almost got him. Keep it up. Go on. Alright, you asked for it. Say hello to Junior Troopa's special attack. Full power. <laughs> what a little jerk. Ow. Danger. Yeah! Let's go. Mario, that was wonderful fighting. You got star points. You get star points every time you beat an enemy. Every time you save up 100 star points, you'll go up a level. Always try hard to get points. Heck yeah. Shoot, I was winning too. I'll be back, Mario. Bye, Felicia. I mean it, I'll be back. Nice. <laughs> oh. Yeah. If you hit this block, your HP heart points will fully recover. Nice. Ooh. Gray blocks. I'm guessing we'll need a upgraded hammer for that. Alright, which way do we go? Which way do we go here? Also, these walls look sus. Walls looking sus. Ooh. Our first fire flower. A flower that burns all enemies with fireballs. Attack power 3. Nice. You got an item. You use items in this game to attack enemies to recover your HP heart points. And to do a few other things. Uh, press left to see what items Mario has now. Ah, oh, okay. Fun. <laughs> Heads up, Mario. I see bad Goombas ahead. They're loyal to Bowser. If they see you, they'll attack you without hesitation. If you can successfully attack an enemy in the field with a jump or hammer, you'll get the first strike when, you're, when you enter the battle. Striking first really helps when it comes to battling. Nice. Let's do it. Yeah! Boss moves. Easy peasy. <laughs> I say in our first, um, our very first, uh, enemy matches. This is a spiked Goomba. See the spike on his head? Be careful not to jump on him. You'll definitely get hurt. Will do. Nice. <laughs> Dang. What a... What an absolute sass. Alright. Oh, flying Goomba. There we go. Oh gosh, there's two of them. Two of them this time. Listen up, Mario. The enemy's flying. Your hammer won't reach enemies in the air. To attack airborne enemies, use a jump attack. You can jump over one enemy to attack one behind it, too. This is good advice. Remember it. Okay. How do I do that? How do I do that? Is 
It's kind of annoying I haven't learned the button. I guess going into this game for the first time you wouldn't know. I don't know. I think they were in Mario RPG though. Anyway. It's kind of annoying that you don't know the button... Ac the action command things. <laughs> nice. Hat. Hat tilt. It's a glowing star piece. Wait and see what this is for. <laughs> Thanks, game. This music feels so like N64 era. Never worry, kids. Here I am. Thanks to young Mario here, I made it back all right. We made it. Oh, is that thing locked? Let me open it for you. Thanks, buddy. Yay. Aw. Goomba, where- Goomba, where have you been? I looked outside and wow, both you and the veranda were just plain gone. Goomba, I was very, very worried about you. Really worried. Aw. Poor buddy. Sorry, kids. I apologize. I didn't mean to make you fret. You just take it easy now. I'm back, safe and sound. Aw. Poor buddy. Now, before I forget, I've decided to give you something, Mario. Wait here a minute. I love his little, like, I love his swagger while he walks. You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? <laughs> I study self-defense by reading books by the masters and listening to Dad and Goompa. And I also really exercise every day so I can be strong like you. It's starting to show too. I'm getting big muscles. Yeah, Goombario's head is hard as a rock now, <laughs> tee hee. What does that mean? <laughs> When he does his head bonk move, it really, really hurts. Oh, be quiet, Goombario. Goombario, you're embarrassing me. Of course it is true. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goomba. We're just rapping with Mario. <laughs> rapping? Like the Bowser rap? Oh, rapping, huh? Sorry, I wanted to give this to Mario. What do we get? A kiss? <laughs> You got the power jump badge. Mario stomps on a single enemy using a lot of attack power. Wow. This is called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a power jump, which means you'll be able to do a lot more damage with your jump attack. But listen here and listen well. You'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. You'll do better. You better try, f try it first. Putting badges on and taking them off is a vital skill. Would you like a quick lesson in how to use the badges you collect during your travels? I guess so. Okay, then press start. The menu will open. Here's how you put on or take off badges. Select the badge. Use the control stick to point to the badge. All right. Press A. Press the A button to enter the badge screen. Press the A button again. Okay. Wearing badges often takes badge points. This one takes one BP. The badge is on now. Press the A button again to take it off. The badge is now off, and 1 BP is returned to your total. Alright. Now remember, you need FP to use the this power jump technique. Do you remember that we saw a block like this on the way back to the village? Well, these blocks will restore not only HP, but also FP. Uh, they're lifesavers, Mario. Use them whenever your HP and FP reserves are getting low. By the by, Mario, I heard from Guma. You're taking it upon yourself to try to rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Uh-huh. That's a me. Oh yeah, Mario can beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. <laughs> try both hands tied behind my back. Hush now, Goombario. Mario, Mario, please take this hammer. It should, ser it should serve you well. If I were just a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. I'd have done some damage. The years have started to weigh on me, weigh on me though. I'll t I tell you this. I tell you this lower back pain. Adventure, you're so lucky. Princess, princess rescuing is so cool. I really want to be an adventurer too someday. Me too. Oh, here's an idea. Goombario, 
perhaps the timing is perfect. You are no longer a child, and evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario. <gasps> what, really? May I go, Goompa? May I really go? Yes, oh yeah. Mario, you won't regret this. Goombario, join your party. Let's go. Press down to have him tell you about people, places, or things nearby. Uh, when you're interested, just ask him. Goombario is also helpful during battles. He can attack with head bonk, or he can tell you about an, an enemy's features and HP using his tattle ability. Way to go, Goombario. Mario, I know Goombario will prove to be a worthy companion. Well, I think it's about time for my nap. I'll be in the house. Goodbyes have a way of making this old go Goomba get weepy. Why? This is so cool, Mario. Let's go. But wait, your HP looks a little low. Maybe you ought to take a rest at the Toad House. Sure. So, I guess the Thousand Year Door took... Do I just talk to the Toad? Um... I guess Thousand Year Door took a lot from this game than I would have thought. Like the tattle ability. The badges. Lots of stuff. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Take care now. Thanks, buddy. Alright. Let's go break a block. That sounds like a cool slogan. Go break a block. Like instead of break a leg. In the Mushroom Kingdom, they're like, go break a block, Mario. <laughs> Dad, did you hear? I'm going out adventuring with Mario. Dude, that must be so scary. I would never. Uh, if I ever... Not that I will have children, but if I ever did have children, I would never let them go adventuring out with... Someone. <laughs> I'll make you proud, Dad, I swear it. Just wait. Do your best, son. You've grown into a strong boy. I know you'll be a, be a great help. It's a good thing you've spent so much time training, huh? Now do your old goom Goompapa proud. <laughs> Alright, here we go. There we go, problem solved. I have a feeling your road will be lined with difficulties, so try not to overdo it. Be watchful, yet stay cool. A calm mind is the wisest. Um... Oh, well, hang on now, Ma Hang on now, Mario. I notice you aren't wearing the badge Goompa gave you. You know, that badge won't do anything if you don't wear it. I think you'd better- okay. Sorry, I forgot. Alright. There we go. Let's go. Oh, this is a trick, I bet. Wait. Beware of Goombas. Yeah, you jerk butt. I knew it. <laughs> I knew you were a trick. Hey, Mario. During a battle, you can change the order we attack in with Z. I can attack first if you want. I don't mind Daw, just keep keep it in mind, okay? <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll learn like the action commands later on. But I want to know them now. <laughs> <laughs> Head bonk. Bonk. So, if this... If this... Um, what am I trying to say? If this works the same way as Thousand Year Door, which is funny to say because, you know, that's the second game. But anyway. Um, if this works the same as Thousand Year Door, if we tattle, then we'll... Wait. If we tattle, we'll always know. We'll always be able to see their... their health bar or something. Goombas are what you'd call small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest fries. <laughs> Aw, that's no fun. I want a big fries. Hey wait, I'm one of them. <laughs> Max HP 2, attack power 1, defense power 0. You can jump on them or whack them with a hammer. These guys are old school. They've been around since you were in Super Mario Bros. <laughs> I love that. There we go, now we can see the health bar. I forget if that's like permanent, or if... Like if that's for all the Goombas, or... I wish we had a way to test that. Well, I guess maybe there's more Goombas around here. Alright, let's see. 
Do we still see the health bar? Oh. Okay. Cause I always wondered in like, Thousand Year Door as well. Like I, I always wondered what the point of tattling is. But yeah, if I can like, if I get the health bar to ter permanently be there, I feel like it's worth it to just even like do it once. Okay. That actually makes sense now. Nice. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I was like ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I love that. The sass. Although are flying Goombas different? They are. Flying Goombas are in fact different. This is a para Goomba. Obviously para Goombas are Goombas with wings. <laughs> Max HP 2, attack power 0, or 1, defense power 0. You can't hit them with the hammer while they're airborne. If you damage them, they'll fall to the ground and become ordinary Goombas. Oh, I wanted to know how long we've known Para Goombas for. When were the first Para Goombas? Yikes. Yeah, I don't think there's any blocking yet. Um... Dude, this music is so, like, classic. Absolute classic. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Spooky. I'm gonna make the assumption that all Goombas are 2 HP, so... At this point, I feel like we don't have to, like, waste our time. <laughs> As Tom DeLong once said, don't waste your time on tattling Goombas. Alright. Nice. There we go. Ooh, mushroom. Restores 5 HP. Let's go. Nice. What's this? Close call badge. When Mario's in danger, enemies sometimes fail to attack. I mean, since we have it, we might as well equip it, why not? I mean, it's the only badge we have. There we go. Eat a mushroom to regain your energy. When HP gets low, eat a mushroom with... left. Okay. Cool. Oh crap. I like that there's easy... I like that there's- there's a quick access to, um, your items. Mario stomps on a single enemy using a lot of attack power, jump and stop on an enemy. Alright. So yeah, we haven't learned how to do, like, the jumping in a row. Which I'm kind of bummed about. Alright. Oh, jeepers. <laughs> By the way, I'm playing this on the Switch. The graphics actually look pretty good. I'm very surprised. What's up, Yoshi? How's it going? Hello, hello. And yeah, this is the original Paper Mario. We're playing it on the Switch. I'm gonna eat a mushroom. Do you guys like mushrooms, like, in real life? Not gonna lie, I don't like mushrooms. Oh wait, but I think you guys knew that. Dang it, there was a heart right there. <laughs> no, I wasted a mushroom. Oh well. OMG, my favorite person? Is it you? <laughs> or, or, or you mean our... How many people do you have? We have one so far. One person in our party. Hey, hey, hold it right there. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Suspicious guy. Don't move. <gasps> 
they were red and blue. Aha, you're Mario, I knew it. You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order from the Goomba King, that's right. I'm sorry, but the only way by is through the red is by is through the Goomba Bros. That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba. Wow. Let's get him, Blue Goomba. Oh yeah, let's do it, my red brother. Yikes. Alright. So do we tattle? I guess we'll tattle. And we probably- I feel like they're both gonna be the same amount of health. This is Blue Goomba. He's the younger of the two notorious Goomba bros. Max HP 6. Oh gosh, 6. As you heard in his little speech, he's one of Goomba- he's one of the Goomba King's men. Uh, he doesn't look that healthy. He's weaker than his brother. Oh, interesting. Alright. There's this fish I totally love. I won't say names. We get a fish? How exciting. Mario, how'd you like some of this? I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all! <laughs> okay, um... Alright... I've never- I never know how to play RPGs. Like, I never know if I should, like, take out- if I should focus on both of them at the same time, or just take out one at a time. I feel like that's gonna bite me in the butt later on. Also, from what I've learned, the best way to go about this game is to just... Hey, lucky. Is to just, um... Keep on... Keep on upgrading my attack power or whatever. Blue, blue Gumba. Ah, my little brother. You'll pay for that, Mario. Oh no, I guess we should have took out the older brother first. Not the younger one. Hey, lucky. Here we go. Yeet. Ow. Uh, I usually see if it's achievable to do both, like one and another. Oh, okay. I gotcha. But if they they're low enough to die, I'll just aim for one. Gotcha. Gosh, how much HP do you have, friend? I'm like almost scared to keep going, because I don't know. I probably should- okay, there we go. Nice. That's gotta be a level up, right? Ah, 17 more star points and we can level up. Yeah, I'll let you go for now. Is he- is he giving a middle finger? Or wait, what? <laughs> That's not very nice. to heal. Hey, extra mushroom. <gasps> ah, you butt nugget. <laughs> you scared me. I wasn't paying attention. Did you equip the badge? I did. Alright. There we go. Goodbye. Man, I can't wait till we learn how to, like, dodge and stuff. That's gonna make my life so much less stressful. <laughs> Cause I am quite stressed right now <laughs> in these battles. <laughs> um, alright, sweet. Alright, what do you gotta say? Goomba King's Fortress ahead. Here we go. Whoa! Epic cutscene. Whoa. Are they- oh wait, they're tier- Don't they- that- doesn't that look like they're sticking up a middle finger? But they're tears, I get it now. But it looks like it- it looks like a hand- a white hand sticking up a middle finger and I don't like it. <laughs> Makes me feel uncomfortable. King Goomba, help us. Mario, beat us up.
Hey look Mario, see that building over there? I'm pretty sure there used to be a badge on the other side, or a bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. Uh oh. Whoa. <gasps> Yikes. Oh, it's this guy. So Mario, it's true. You've made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get. Because I, the great and powerful King Goomba, will see to it see to it that you ad that you advance no further. <laughs> oh my god. My gosh, dang darn greedy. Like you, uh, I hate I, I like- I have a love-hate relationship for playing these types of games on streams because you guys see how terrible my reading ability is. You hear that, Mario? No farther. No one st not one step. Are you scared, little man? Bahaha. Ha. Yeah, you're scared, alright. You wanna say you're sorry? Wow, that King Goomba is really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you though, Mario. Let's get him. Ready to meet my wrath, Mario. You'd better be. Oh, yike. Oh, we're going straight into it. Um, beat him up, King Goomba. We've got your back. Leave him to me. Hey, Mario. I think maybe we ought to take out the Goomba Bros first, don't you think? They must be pretty weak since we just finished beating them up back there. Um... I also didn't realize turn-based battles as an adult. I feel very anxious. Same. Um, I want to dodge and punch you. <laughs> yeah. Um, instantly attack the tree in the background. Can I do- Oh, I can! Sweet. That's sick. Alright. Sick. I totally feel that with reading. Sometimes I just read the main parts and skip. When no one is watching, I get all tongue twisted. Right? Like... I just read the important parts, like... I like- I get the gist of what you're saying. Like, I don't want to read the whole thing. <laughs> What's your tattle? This is the Goomba King. He's really big. I mean, look at him. He looks really powerful. Max HP 10, attack power 1. That's all you got. He's the boss of Red Goomba and Blue Goomba. Who cares if he's strong? You're much stronger. Gee, I wonder what he ate to become so big. I'd better- I'd like to be a bit bigger too. Honestly, same. I don't know. I'm five- I'm like five foot two. Maybe probably less than that. Like, <laughs> I get that. I was playing Pokemon and I couldn't even pronounce half the stuff. I'm like, yeah, let's go to that city. <laughs> Same. Ouch. I- I could not. Yeah. I- I'm not good with reading Pokemon names. Oh, I should use my thing. Oh well. Take one more hit. Alright. Here we go. Take this. <laughs> now we're leveling up. Yeah! Nice. So... Oh wait, no, never mind. Wait, what? Oh, you can't attack. You can't power up attack. Oh, okay. Never mind, I'm stupid. Um... Well, I guess, yeah. So what we learned last time with Thousand Year Door is that you just go all in with badges, right? That's what we learned last time. What? How could I lose? <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Yeah, I knew we could do it. Cool, Victor. <laughs> I don't know if- I don't know if- Like, I, if- if I were, like- If I were, like, in a fist fight with somebody and I won, I don't know if I would be like, cool. <laughs> like, I don't- Hey. I don't know if that's necessarily cool. Star piece. <laughs> oh, found a little button, a little switch. 
Uh, Mario, good fight and all that. I must warn you, however. If you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? You what? <laughs> you already pressed it? Hehe. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Bye. Whoa. That's crazy. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> I love the sound effects. They're so good. Nice. We made it. Look, the bridge. Now we can cross now we can cross it and continue our journey. Alright. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Alright. Onward and forward. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh. Whoa, what's this? Super Shroom, 10 HP. Nice. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. She's like farting rupees, it looks like, from Zelda. Save and continue. Whoa. I feel like they technically could. This game aged well. I feel like they technically could even have could have even made this game on the Super Nintendo. Like maybe not like perf, but like they could have like I don't know. I would be interested to see this on like a Super Nintendo. Or yeah, <laughs> Mighty King Bowser. I've been looking for you. To report your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's headed. He's heading for Toad Town now. What? Unbelievable. What a, What was Goomba King thinking? I used the Star Rod to make him a king because he begged me. And Mario whips him so easily. What a wimp. Uh, Kami Koopa, you are, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your vileness. Try to calm down. Try to be calm. Goomba King is, a, is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter because while you hold the Star Rod, you are definitely invincible. You can beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Yes, yes, very good. Gwahaha. By the way, Kami Koopa, those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please don't worry yourself. Each is held separately. And each is carefully guarded by your hand your handpicked subjects. Even Mario could even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Hmm. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? It's that one at Koopa Bros Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Oh. Hiya. Whoa. Ninja Turtles, literally. Here come the Koopa Bros. Uh-huh, oh yeah, we're the coolest of cool. Kami Koopa, are you sure those- Are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Go that Goomba King was gigantic and even he couldn't beat Mario. Pshaw, get real King Bowser. <laughs> yeah, that Goomba King was huge, but he was a total wim- wim- wimpola. <laughs> we're nothing like him. See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent. That's the spirit. Sell it, Koopa Bros. <laughs> Show our king that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Ooh. That this- oh. <laughs> How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh yeah, excellent, really. I'm not easily impressed either. <laughs> Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack. We'll take him, King Bowser. 
By the way, my Koopa bros, how about the captured star spirit I've locked up in your fortress, who's guarding him right now? Oh, uh, nobody, sir. <laughs> you know we're here, and so... You idiots, use your heads. Get back to the fortress and guard that star spirit. Zoom, zoom. Wow, it's like a race against time. You got the sleepy sheep. If it works, makes all enemies sleep for a little while. Nice. Cool. Bum, 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 bum. What does this do? Treasure! Hammer throw badge. Hits one enemy with the hammer, no matter where the enemy is. Huh? Oh no, it costs- wait, oh. Okay. Um, nice. Is this closed or something? Oh no, I can just walk through. Alright. Oh, we're back at Toad Town. Hi. Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in uproar. The princess kidnapped. The very castle uprooted. It's Bedlam. Bed, Bedlam. Bed. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. I'll try my best. Where does this pipe go to? Oh, it goes to my house. <laughs> Look how stupid Luigi looks. I wonder what my brother is doing right now. Question mark? Wait, wasn't Luigi in the castle? Why are you back here? Whoa, Mario, it's you. Good to see you. And you're all right, after all that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earth- oh. So I managed to escape in time. <laughs> you didn't want to help me, Luigi? Like, excuse me? Oh, and who are you? I'm Goombario, nice to meet you. I see. Great, just great, just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario, talk about unfair. <laughs> See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh well, take care of Mario, okay? Good luck, Mario. You just have to save that princess. Alright, Goombario, this is my house. Welcome to my house. Welcome to the house. Of course Mario and Luigi sleep in bunk beds. <laughs> of course. Alright. Well, off we go. <laughs> What's in here? Hi. Oh, salutations. You are Mario, are you not? Of course I know who you are. I'm the wise toad, Rusty. <laughs> Pleasure meeting you. As you can probably tell, I love books and read and read all the time because I'm so well read I know all sorts of interesting facts. Whenever you visit with me, I'll be happy to share all of my knowledge with you. Are you talking to me because you crave knowledge that only my intellect can provide? Then how about this? So it is told that far away at the very top of the sky there exists a star haven. I saw this in the opening cutscene where stars make their home. In star haven there is a treasure called a star rod. According to legend it was made with ancient magic. There are said to be stars that are particularly strong and good-hearted. They are called star spirits. Uh, using the magic star rod, uh, these star spirits grant the wishes of everyone in this world. That's why when we make a wish to the night sky and it comes true, it's all thanks to the star spirits and their star rod. If there's anything else you would wish to know... Alright. I wonder if... Do you guys believe in wishes? Are wishes real? I wonder if, like, wishes are real, but, like, the reason why, like, you know, when you make, like, a, an extravagant wish, maybe, like, wishes, they have to be, like, still, like, grounded level, you know? Like, you can't make, like, you can't be, like, oh, I wish I had a million dollars. Like, it has to be, like, a wish where it's, like, actually reasonable. I don't know if that's why. Like, I wonder if those kinds of wishes actually ever make sense. Hey, what's up, me, John? Hello, hello. How's it going? What's up? Oh, busy, busy. The room doesn't get tidied up when my darling's at home. 
What's going on here? The earthquake when the castle flew away was terrifying. Everything was shaking, the ground, the houses, I fell right over. I was so hor- it was so horrifying that I'd just like to forget it ever happened. My dad works at the castle, so he's not at home usually. You're playing a banger game? Yeah, that's what I hear. I'm excited. Now the castle's gone, so he's at home. When I said I'm glad because dad's at home. Have you played this game? Also, what did you think of it? Princess Peach was kidnapped, uh, so I'm going to save her. Uh, but mom told me I w had to be a good boy and stay home. How come? How come? <laughs> Alright. Because, yeah, I played this game a little bit when I was younger. But, like, er, yeah, when I was younger. But I never finished it. So this will be my first time actually finishing it. Welcome to Shroom Grocery. How can I help you? Sell? We can sell stuff? Nice. Nice. Played it with my bro, so it holds some special meaning. So glad just to see you're playing it. That's awesome. Dude, I was always... I was always the younger brother that was like, oh... I just have to watch my older brother play this game. Because I don't know how to play video games. <laughs> that was always me. Who are you? Our master is wandering the world to purify his mind and train his body. Our master was a strong man. He is going to come back a very, very strong man. We'll wait here. Right here until our master returns. Waiting is part of our training. What do you have to say? Above us on the top floor, there is a dojo. Uh, we are here, always, training at the dojo. Unless our master isn't here, in which case the dojo is closed. A letter just arrived saying the master will return soon. We will train again soon. Alright. Um... Hi. How could such a thing happen? What... What will become of Princess Peach and the others who were in the castle? I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm Felis, Fe, Felis, Felicity. I'm so scared. <laughs> All right. Well. Also, did I miss anything? Everyone just seems, everyone just seems to be in a ruckus around here. Which is fair, I mean, part of the town just got up and left. Toad Town Newsflash. Princess Peach kidnapped. Castle uprooted. A few days ago, Princess Peach's castle was stolen. She was inside and is presumed kidnapped. Jeez, I thought it was going to be like presumed dead. <laughs> I'm like, jeez, that's dark. The whereabouts of the princess are unknown, and where the castle once stood, there is now a gaping hole in the ground. According to witnesses, the castle rose into the sky. As soon as we get new information, we'll post follow-up reports on this board. Wow. Merlin is out. <laughs> Shello. Hey mister, you're a customer, aren't you? Dad's preparing to open the shop soon, so I guess you gotta wait a little while. Okie dokie. Oh, where does this go? Where does this go? Oh, hi. These building materials used to be stacked by the road, but they all came down when th that earthquake hit. Unfortunately, it's impossible to go to the south side of, to of town with all this scattered wood. Don't worry, we're restacking it as quickly as possible. I know it's inconvenient, but please bear with us while we get everything in order. I, rem I r do remember playing this as a kid and thinking that like that meant that you just had to sit here and wait for <laughs> all this wood to be cleared. So I, I think when I was a kid when I played this, I just like sat here and just waited for this to- uh, I kept like coming back and being like, how come this isn't cleared yet? <laughs> like what's taking you guys so long? Invisible door. Alright, we'll save. Um, post office. Greetings, the name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. Thanks. Yes, hello, this is the post office. You can read any letters that arrive for you or for your par other party members. 
please drop by now and then to check and see if you've received any mail. Well, oh, you seem to have some mail. Nice. Which one would you like to read? Let's read some mail. We just got a letter. <laughs> um, letter from the Red and Blue Goomba Bros to Goombario. Here you go. Goombario. You are a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us, and you showed us that being good is as important as being strong, so... When you come back, do you think maybe we could be friends? Please say yes. We'll be waiting, Red and Blue Goomba Bros. We'll keep the letters for you. Come, come on by anytime you want to read some letters. Alright. So who are you, punks? It's dangerous out there. I wouldn't go. Yeah, you shouldn't go. Nope, no go. <laughs> Sorry, but no. Well, that's rude. Um... Well, that's rude. Can we go check out the castle? Oh, we can. Oh, no! <laughs> Rip. Dang. Hello. I can't believe that Princess Peach's castle was here just a little while ago. Wow! <laughs> I was in the castle when it started to shake, but my lightning quick feet got me out. I know Luigi made it out along with maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. Like the movie. Where does this lead to? Whoa! Oh, that scared me. <laughs> oh, this must be the star place. Uh, what does this say? Looking for something? Drop by Merle of Lee's place. What does this say? Shooting Star Summit. Well, let's, what is this the first? Where did this go to? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is nice. This feels homey. Alright. What's in here? Hi. Ah, oh, my my. Hello there, Mario. This spot is a little tight for fortune telling. If you want your fortune read, talk to me over the counter. I foresaw your arrival, Mario. My name is Mer Merlove Merlovely. I'm a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. I can help you find what you seek. Uh, my twinkle star here will show me all that's hidden, my my. Tell me, shall I read your fortune? Is it free? Do I have to pay? Ah, oh, I do. Oh! So I'm guessing it like gives you hints on where to find stuff. That's interesting. It's empty. I like how we're just like going through this person's stuff. <laughs> hey buddy. I'm the famous Merlo of Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap some cool badges for them. Ooh, how about it? Okay. Which badges? What do we got? Attack FXA. Changes the sound effects when Mario's stacking. Payoff. The more damage Mario takes, the more coins he receives. And protects Mario from poisoning and dizziness during attack. Happy Heart. Restores HP automatically. Happy Flower. Peekaboo. Oh, that would be nice to have. Zap Tap. Heart Finder. We drain. Okay. Zap Tap is a good one. Uh, did you change your mind? Okay. So we gotta be looking for some star pieces, heck. I believe last time I- I don't think- 
Well, I don't know. This is just like assuming that this game plays similarly to, or I guess Thousand Year Door plays similarly to this one, but... Um... Heck, we gotta look for star pieces then. If we're only... If this... If Thousand Year Door was anything like this game... I guess we're just gonna focus on badge points, which means we have to look for- we have to be able to get more badges. Makes you have an electric barrier around you. Oh, okay. Nice. That's pretty cool. Well, this is really pretty. Really pretty. Hello. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. Wow. We're the seven star spirits. Everything is in seven with, in, like, the seven sages in Zelda. Now there's seven star spirits? What else are there seven of? Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Listen, please listen carefully. Huh. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to look like me. <laughs> what? <laughs> the self, the self burn, the self roast. Um, of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend. When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the star rod so he could grant his own wishes. Ugh, I couldn't fight that yawn. I couldn't fight that one. Um, <laughs> he seems, he seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough though, I fear he will wish for more and then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the Seven Star Spirits to keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we seven star spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all of, all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance, but even now, our strength is fading. Uh, we've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rec rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach. We need your help. Please, Mario, you are our last hope, and we will... Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Wow. Uh-oh. Do we have to play as Peach in this one too? Sniffle. Mara's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Do oh no. That's not help. 
Wahaha, my dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone wish it, everyone's wishes? It's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Nee hee hee. I imagine it, but imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me, princess. I can grant wishes. Bowser doesn't seem that bad. Of course. <laughs> I'll only grant requests like that I like. Anyway, think about it. You can take you take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. <laughs> you watch yourself, Princess. You better not cause trouble. Bleh. <laughs> Oh please, if only somebody could help me. Oh? Huh? Aw, oh, cute. It's a cute little star. A little baby star. Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. <laughs> of course it is. But you're... You're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get... How'd you get here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wished that somebody could help me? Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank- Isn't that a selfish wish, too? Isn't that kind of a selfish wish? Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? Think he can do it? Dot 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 dot. Uh, sorry, that's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Starhaven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry, please ask for something easy, something a small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Aw, oh, poor buddy. The stars just trying their best. Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright, don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Dope. Oh, Twink, do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. What's that? This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Oh wait, Twink, wait one second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that... I'm fine and he shouldn't worry. Okay, can you tell him that? Of course. I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? Wee. Mario, where are you? Aw. Sad times. Sad times for everyone. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Do oh, it's- you're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found- I found you. But I'm a star. <laughs> Cute. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring you something to you. Ah, uh, yes, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. You got the lucky star. A star-shaped pendant. Let's you use the action command. Yeah, let's go. Finally. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? Okay. Alright. Let me see. Hang on. 
You behind Mario, would you mind helping me demonstrate something? Me? The name's Goombario, of course I'll help. Well, Mario and Goombario, let's begin. Aw, I'm about to just like murder my friend. <laughs> First, Mario, choose the jump command. Okay, jump. Press A right before landing. Once you decide on the enemy, the explanation of the action command will appear. Right now, just before stomping the enemy. Press A at exactly this moment. When you see nice up here, it means you've successfully used the action command. When you do, you'll increase the amount of damage you do. Okay, now this time, Goombario, you try to attack Mario. Okay, here it comes, Mario. <laughs> Right now. Press A just before the attack strikes you. Yes, you successfully used the action command. This will reduce the, the amount of damage you receive. Often, you'll have to use different techniques to make use of the action command. It depends on the attack. Try attacking by hammer. Poor buddy, we just met this friend and then we're just like... giving him the worst time. Once you choose an enemy to attack... Okay. We know this game. There you go. Alright, you successfully used your action command. Well, Mario, do you understand the ins and outs of the action command? Let's practice a bit to make sure you've mastered how to use it properly. Okay. Alright. Can I get a double, I wonder? Ah, crap. Too early. I'm not good with reflex stuff. Like, my reflexes are just so bad. What? That one should've worked. I call. Okay. There we go. Alright. I think I'm good. Terrific, you'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are. Oh, it's Kami. What? It can't be. Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Kami Coop- Oh wait, no, this isn't Kami. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. Oh gosh, here we go. Gotta use our new action commands. Oh wait, let's, uh, let's get a little tattle going on. This is a Magic Koopa. Magic Koopas are, use magical rods. Max HP 8, attack power 3. Oh gosh, magic attacks are no joke, Mario. You better take these guys seriously. Oh gosh. Oh, can I not- can I not even block that? Okay... Nice! Boom, boom. I forgot to do the little... finger wag. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I hope so. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. Bye. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. That's exactly what she said. <laughs> I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave, you must save Princess Peach. Alright, bye. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. Um, I saw this TikTok where it's like a teacher. This teacher and then, um... 
on the TikTok, she's like, um, that she was talking to her students. Um, and as they leave the classroom, they say like, um, hey, oh my goodness, look at all those chickens. Maddie, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. Hello, hello. Aw. Thanks so much for the raid. How are you doing? How is it going? Hello, hello. You're playing, you're playing Pokemon. Heck yeah. How is Pokemon? How is Pokemon? Um, thank you so much for the raid. Really appreciate it. Aw. Hi. In case anybody's new, um, my name is Chase. I'm a little dude. I'm a little streamer dude and I like to play a lot of Nintendo games. I'm playing Paper Mario for the first time. I played the Paper Mario games out of order. <laughs> I played the Origami King and then I played Thousand Year Door. Now we're playing the first one, so I don't know what we're doing, but hi. <laughs> thanks so much for the raid, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, thanks so much. What's up Movie Freak? Hello, hello. John Omatic, hello, hello. Anime Girl. Hello, Maddie. Hello, thanks so much for the raid. Hey, what's up, AK? How's it going? Hello. Um, Calvin, hello, hello. Cards and cards. Um, Di Dilo8. I'm so sorry. Hi. Um, hey, Maddie. Pokemon was great. No shinies, though. Hope you're having a good stream. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, hopefully, we'll get them next time. We'll get the shinies next time, I hope. <laughs> Well, that's cool. I'm, I'm glad, glad, glad you had a fun time at least. And thank you so much for the raid. I'm having a pretty good, good night so far as well. Um, how are you liking po uh, Paper Mario? It's been very fun so far. We're doing okay, I think. <laughs> Gosh, I think we're doing okay. But I'm having fun. Uh, which is your favorite Paper Mario? Oof. Um. Okay. Um. Possibly a very, very hot take. I think... I think Origami King might actually be my favorite one. But... If I could like- if you could somehow like mash together... Like the characters of Thousand Year Door and the- and the like battle system with the story of Origami King, I think that could be kind of fun. But yeah, I, I don't know. I'd say Origami King just because I really liked, um, for, uh, well, and now I don't even know the character name. I really like, I really like your buddy in Origami King that I'm totally blanking on the name. <laughs> um, also playing Paper Mario 64 for the first time. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We'll definitely keep up the hunt. My patience is not great though. Honestly, same. It's the reason, like, I feel like, for me at least, I feel like streaming is so, like, backwards for me because I have such a short attention span that, like, it surprises me that I can sit in one spot for, like, three hours and play a single video game. Like, it seems so, like, it doesn't seem like something I would do. Just, like, sit here and just play a video game for three hours. Like, I don't have, I, yeah, I don't have the patience or the attention span <laughs> to do it. But yet I do it. And we have a fun time, at least. Um, Paper Mario games are also cute. They are. Really cute. I like them. Still in Chapter 2? Nice. I believe we're still in the prologue. <laughs> I feel like if you play the Paper Mario games without the nostalgia bias, you'll enjoy the later games much more. Oh, is that true? I don't- yeah, I never would have thought that. Because, yeah, so, what I learned is that Paper Mario th Thousand Year Door Everybody, I feel like everybody, everybody and their mother loves that game. When I played it, I thought it was really hard. Well, I, th I thought, I felt like the difficulty spike, like the game was like, you know, pretty challenging, pretty challenging. And all of a sudden you get to the end. I don't think this is like spoiler spoilers, but like you get to the end of Thousand Year Door and it's just like, it's, it's like so difficult. But yeah. <laughs> I just had a fun time though. I thought it was fun. Um, oh Mario. Mer Merlin was looking for you. He lives in that house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. 
It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric, so... Uh, wait, why did I say so? Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Nice. Um, never played Thousand Year Door. That's good to know because I have never played the original Paper Mario. Super Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo was amazing, though. Nice. That's another one I haven't played, but that's cool. Um, you're all set. Um, I think people enjoy Thousand Year Door because the character rating is so strong. That's, yeah. That's true. Wait, Mer Mer Merlin's not even here. Why'd you lie to me? Heh. <laughs> Wait, he's not even here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ow. What the? Why is someone sleeping in my f in front of my house? Um, wait a minute, that face seems very familiar to me. By the way, has anyone been playing Kirby? Oh my goodness, I've been playing Kirby. Such a fun time. <laughs> oh, maybe. No. Yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. Oh, sorry, I was talking about- wait, sorry, after this. Where to begin? My name is Merlin, I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an or oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important and it concerns you, but before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summit and as usual, but no one- but one day it happened. Suddenly, a great appeared, and I standing face to face. Then the far away was raised me up was amazing. <laughs> How come you're skipping your story, friend? I was still so young then I believed in, but our hearts were... And then so... Dot dot dot. Um... Cider Raid and Lurk, I decided to get KFC for dinner. Nice, I'll be lurking. Thanks so much for the lurk, and don't even worry. Don't even be sorry at all. No worries. Hope the KFC goes well. I actually, I did not know they had KFCs in Australia. I don't know. I, I never knew that, but that's cool. Hope the, hope the KFC goes well. That actually sounds really good right about now. <laughs> but thanks so much for the raid, Maddie. It's always nice to see you. Uh, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that so much. Uh, you have a good dinner. And that is all that matters. Huh? Hey, Mario, were you listening to me? Oh, alright. So anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventures, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as is humanly possible, but according to my second sight, your path must first take you to the Great Fortress of the Koopa Bros. To reach the Koopa Bros Fortress, head east on east. Never eat soggy waffles. Okay. No worries. Always love reading it. Oh, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. That actually that means so much to me. <laughs> um. Wait, never eat soggy waffles, so right. <laughs> Is that embarrassing that I'm like in my I'm like I'm in I'm in my twenties and I still can't memorize the compass directions without doing never eat soggy waffles. <laughs> um Soggy wheat fix. Is that what they say in Australia? Oh, that's cool. Yep, nice. I've had wheat fix once, and it was good. It was a good time. I always say never eat soggy wheat fix to remember. Oh, I didn't realize the U.S. said waffles. Yeah, I've always said never eat soggy waffles, but that that makes sense. Soggy wheat fix for Australia. Um, nice. Hello. You don't want to go up there, it's way too dangerous. 
Going to Koopa Bros Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all though, you shouldn't go ask old man Merlin for help. That would be real bad news for us. I mean for you, don't even think about it. I guess we gotta go ask Merlin for help. Um... Oh yeah, so I saw this TikTok where like, um, it was like a teacher. It was a teacher making a TikTok and she's like, oh, every time the kids, every time the students leave the class every day, she said, they always say like, see you later alligator. And then the teacher will say, <laughs> the teacher will say like, oh, in a while crocodile. Um, and then she said that one of her students didn't realize that they were doing like, you know, like kind of like puns. And they thought, they thought the, they thought the other students were just naming animals. So like one of the students just walk up, walked up to her and said, goodbye pig. <laughs> and I thought that was so funny. Um, do I have to pay the money or do I just talk? Come again? Strange toads blocking the east side of Toad Town. That shouldn't be. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never. I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, pig. <laughs> uh, I love that. Except wheat thick's kind of weird because you shouldn't eat them dry either. Yeah. Um, I can't spell loud. <laughs> Uh, I like I didn't hear that one until I saw that TikTok. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. <laughs> That's cute. Are these the strange toads you're talking about? They sure are. Um. So wheat bix, you put it in milk, right? Because I think that's what I did. I put it in like a bowl of milk. <laughs> Take off. Hmm. You aren't toads, are you? <gasps> um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa! R. Hmm, just as I thought. You're the Koopa Bros. How'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly, perfectly disguised. Shucks, black, yellow, green. We retreat, for now. Zoom zoom. Mario, those imposters were none other than the Koopa Bros. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Koopa, Koopa Bros Fortress. Oh Mario, there's one part of your fortune I, ha I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll Hi. need help. <laughs> hey! Cut, cut. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry if I butcher this so badly. K Kaleen? Or is it K Kaleen? Kaleen? R? Thank you so much for the follow. Wheat Bix and Milk. Yep, that's right. Nice. Yeah, I, I, remember I tried it once and it was a good time. I enjoyed it. Um, also, uh, if you follow my Twitch channel, you get your name on the follow wall. Oh, it's clean. Clean. Thank you so much for the follow. Get your name on the follow wall. Um. Doop, doop. How many E's are we talking? Two E's are. There we go. Thanks for the follow. Super duper appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, a blue-shelled Koopa? This is a strange portent. Uh, in Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. Goodbye. I wonder if we ever see what Merlin actually- Oh, here we go. Storming Koopa Bros Fortress. Gosh, okay. Do we have time? So the question is, do we have time to finish this chapter? I'm like scared to start it because I almost like... 
Gosh. What do you guys think? Do you guys want to... I, I, cause I'm leaning towards maybe leaving this till next time. Like, maybe we should wait to do this for next time. Cause it is getting a little bit late for me. Um, it is 10.30 at night. Um, but I also feel bad cause you guys just showed up. I want to make sure I deliver for you guys. I want to make sure I give you guys the best content I can possibly give. In the meantime, I'll make a- I'll make a save point. Um... Gosh. Um... Heck. Shoot, I'm gonna feel so bad. Plenty of time in Oz, but no pressure. Um... Hmm... You know... I think we'll save this for next time. I'm thinking each stream- so I usually- because I honestly- I don't even stream too long, which is kind of sad on my part, but, um... <laughs> hey, John! Thank you so much for the follow! Thank you, thank you. Super do appreciate it. Um... But yeah, let's- since I do feel bad since I feel like I haven't delivered for you guys on the content. What do you say, um... I'll find you guys a raid, so at least we can... We can share it with people. Um... But... Maybe in... F wait. Yeah, maybe we'll find- we'll even be able to find someone playing Paper Mario. Oh my goodness. Um... But thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for the follow. Uh... Yeah. Once again... If you follow the channel... Get your name on the wall. Um, John O'Matic. Hi. <laughs> uh, Kelvin, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Really appreciate it. Um. Wait, whoops. Sorry, I just messed this up. Uh, okay. Thank you guys so much. Um, we are getting a little bit closer, a little bit closer to, um, 1,000, which is very exciting. Uh, very exciting. Um, cool. Well, I think, yeah, I think we'll call it there for the night. Let's see who else is playing this game. Maybe we can find someone, somebody to raid. Uh... Boom, boom, ba -dup. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Super duper appreciate it, as always. Um... Okay. We might have found- maybe I found someone to raid? Uh... Yeah, okay. I think I might have found someone to raid for tonight. Um... Sorry, I, I hate when I just like sit here and stall, <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching. Super do appreciate it. I'm gonna go take a shower and then probably go to bed. Um, uh, yeah. Thanks for the stream. It was good catching you for a bit at least. Yeah, thank you all so much for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we'll go check out this person who is also playing Paper Mario. Um, if you guys are, uh, if you guys are subbed to the channel, feel free to use Raid 1 if you want, but if not, totally cool too. Feel free to use Raid 2. Um, we're gonna raid this person whose name is Zo, I think it is. It's XO. <laughs> so I think it's Zo. But, um, oh, feel free to join the Discord if you guys want to keep up with everything. Um, Discord, you know, feel free to check out my socials if you want to as well. Um, but, yeah, thank y'all so much. Really, really appreciate it. Let's go do a raid. Um, Zomast is their channel name. And they're playing Paper Mario. Alright. Cool. Thank you all so much. 
Um, my name is Chase. It has been nice to meet you all, and I'll see you guys again soon. I'll be back again, hopefully tomorrow, playing more of this, Paper Mario. So thank you all so much. Um, bye. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks so much for hanging out. Bye. Bye, guys. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, feel free to stick around for the raid if you wanna. Alright, bye. Thank you.